Oh Lord, you are the center of my life. I will always praise you. I will always serve you. I will always keep you in my sight. Keep me safe, O oh God, I take refuge in you. I say to the Lord, you are my God. My happiness lies in you alone. My happiness lies in you alone. O oh Lord, you are the center of my life. I will always praise you, I will always serve you, I will always keep you in my sight. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We pause now to ask God's mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy, for on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Job. Job answered his friends and said, I know well that it is so, but how can a man be justified before God? Job long wished to contend with him. He could not answer him once in a thousand times. God is wise in heart and mighty in strength. Who has withstood him and remained unscathed? He removes the mountains before they know it. He overturns them in his anger. He shakes the earth out of its place, and the pillars beneath it tremble. He commands the sun, and it rises not. He seals up the stars. He alone stretches out the heavens and treads upon the crest of the sea. He made the bear an Orion, and the Placides, and the constellations of the south. He does great things past finding out, marvelous things beyond reckoning. Should he come near me, I see him not. Should he pass by, I am not aware of him. Should he seize me forcibly, who can say to him nay? Who can say to him, what are you doing? How much less shall I give him any answer or choose out arguments against him? Even though I were right, I cannot answer him, but should rather beg for what will do me. If I appeal to him and he answer my call, I cannot believe that he will hearken to my words. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. Daily I call upon you, O Lord. To you I stretch out my hands. Will you work wonders for the dead? Will the shades arise to give you thanks? Let my prayer come before you, Lord. Do they declare your mercy to the, in the grave, your faithfulness upon those who have perished? At, are your wonders made known in the darkness? Will your justice in the land of oblivion? Let, Let my, my prayers, prayers come, come before you, Lord. Lord. But I, O oh Lord, cry out to you. With my morning prayer, I wait upon you. Why, O oh Lord, do you reject me? Why hide me from your hide from my me your face? Let, Let my, my prayer, prayer come before you, Lord. Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I consider all the thing, all things so much rubbish that I may gain Christ and be found in him. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. 
The Lord be with you. Lord. Be A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Lord, Lord. As Jesus and his disciples were proceeding on their journey, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus answered him, Foxes have dens and birds of the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to rest his head. And to another he said, Follow me. But he replied, Lord, let me go first and bury my father. But he answered him, Let the dead bury their dead, but you go and proclaim the kingdom of God. And another said, I will follow you, Lord, but first let me say farewell to my family at home. Jesus answered him, No one who sets a hand to the plow and looks to what was left behind is fit for the kingdom of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus seems to be pretty demanding in his requirements in today's Gospel that even he doesn't allow someone to bury their deceased father, but rather must go and proclaim the kingdom of God. Now, we don't know the exact context of all this, except to say that Jesus is letting us know by this, these incidents that to follow him has to be something we do with our whole heart, with all of our intention, that our, we cannot have divided loyalties, that he must become primary to us. Even in our relationships with those around us, we must always place Christ and following him and obeying his way of life as the most important of all. We ask the Lord to help us, even with all of our relationships with our family and with our parishioners and with uh, our neighbors, that in all things we care and love for those persons, but that our primary love and care is to do and to be what the Lord asks us to do and be. Let us stand to pray. Placing our needs in the hands of the Lord, let us lift our prayer to the Heavenly Father, that the church throughout the world may be sanctified through the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord, 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 Lord. that world leaders may be empowered by the Holy Spirit in serving their people as Christ came to serve. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord. That the lonely and discouraged may be uplifted by the assurance of God's love and compassion for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that Jesus' love may conform us ever more to his own heart as we strive to follow him more closely. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord that all who have died may find eternal rest in, in the peace of God's love most especially for Jim Sullivan being remembered at this Mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. For whom else shall we pray? For my neighbor, George Hill, who passed away yesterday, that the Lord grant him eternal rest, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear Lord, our Lord. prayer. For the safety of those in Florida, that they may be safely. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For God's protection upon Kevin Sarkissian, I think today's the day he's having surgery. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Almighty God, your wisdom and might surpass our understanding. We ask that you hear these prayers and answer them according to your will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, 
fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Bless you, God. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Amen. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through your beloved Son, Jesus the Christ. He, his death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, <coughs> and all the men and women who serve the church. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, especially Jim, remembered at this mass. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> in confidence, we pray now in the words our Savior taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope 
the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace, everybody. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And your spirit. Spirit. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. We'll sing just the refrain of number 506. O oh Lord, you are the center of my life. I will always praise you. I will always serve you. I will always keep you in my sight. Have a good day, all. Thank you, Jesus.